Yahweh and welcome to Legio 14's YouTube channel. Today we are going to answer the most asked question on our Facebook page and our Legion YouTube channel. And that is, why do you guys spell Legio 14 XIIII instead of XIV? We briefly answered this in our last video, what do the subscribers want? But felt that we needed to answer this with detailed historical proof of why we do what we do here in Legion 14. Alright, first of all, Legion 14, spelled with four I's, that is the additive way. Doing IV for four would be the subtractive way. It is believed Roman numerals were first introduced in about 500 BC. They were used originally as tallies, so hence the additive version. Now let's dive right into the history of Legion 14. Evidence suggests Julius Caesar founded the Legion in the mid-first century BC. The first evidence that we have here to present to you was from that time when Marcus Antonius minted coins with a naval ship on the front side and the reverse side being Legio 14 spelled X-I-I-I-I -I -I, with signum flanking an aquila in the center. Now we look at the restructuring of the legions under Octavian. After the Battle of Actium, evidence suggests multiple legions were merged into what is now Legio 14 Gemina, Gemina meaning twin, so it was either two versions of Legio 14 mixed into one or reinforcements from another legion put into the 14th to create Legio 14 Gemina, Gemina meaning twin, and this is when they adopted the sign of the Capricorn, which was Octavian or Augustus's sign. Now we're going to move on to some of the evidence that we have for the spelling. The first is the very famous grave cell of Musius, dating for the early first century, as you can see the spelling on this. Then we move on to our next grave stele, M and G Cassius. This dates to the early first century as well, and you can see the spelling on this. There was also several bricks done, stamped with Legio 14, spelled in the way we have been previously explaining, X-I-I-I-I. -I -I -I. There was also a roof tile from Mines, which dates between 13 BC and 97 AD. Now we move on to our next grave style, this from Titus Flaminius. He's uh, age 45, passed away, serving for Legio 14, and you can note the spelling on that. We look now at the Flavolius stell. This is, again, early 1st century, and you can see the spelling on this grave stell as well. There is a roof tile from Hederheim, dates to the late 1st century. Evidence suggests after the Battle of Watling Street in 60 to 61 AD, when the Legion 14 defeated the armies of Boudicca, that they received the honorific title Marcia Victrix. Most stelle showing the title only say Legio 14 Gem, meaning twin, but afterwards most of them are titled GMV for Gemina Marcia Victrix, or even GEM Gem and MV for Marcia Victrix. We look now at the tombstone of Lucius Aemilius, and this is after the Battle of Watling Street. This dates between 71 and 100 AD. You can observe Legio 14 and the GMV following that. We look now at Carnutum. There is a Capricorn. This dates anywhere from 100 to 300 AD. Note the spelling there. Look here at a building inscription of Legio 14s. This dates from anywhere from 101 to 114 AD. This was found in Vienna. Later, there is a dedication to Silvanus. This is, goes dates from 150 to 225 AD. Note the roof tile here from Carnutum dating anywhere from 117 to 420. And this dives us back into the history of the Legion. They were stationed in Pannonia from anywhere from 92 to 430 AD, mainly stationed at Carnutum as their base. That's why there's such a wide range of dating there at Carnutum. There is a coin minted from Septimius Severus from 193 AD with Legio 14 labeled Gam MV, Gamina Martia Vitrix. Legio 14 was significant in raising Septimius Severus to the throne. That is why he minted coins in their honor. There is a dedication of a soldier in Carnutum. This one dates to 213 AD. Now we are going to look briefly at the one example that we have of the subtractive version, XIV. And as you can tell here, it seems that they ran out of space when writing this, so that's why they use a subtractive version. 
And most evidence that we've proven here and shown to you today proves the spelling being X with four I's instead of XIV. I hope you learned something for today and we'll see you on the next episode.